We are considering a proposal to, for a major mixed-use development in Weddington. Tonight, folks in Weddington expected to make their voices heard over a controversy. Proposing a new rezoning proposal. Hundreds showed up last night's development that would bring new housing, shops, and restaurants to what is a, a mostly a lot of say don't want to lose the, that the, the deal rural feel. Last month because so many people showed up against this new development, voicing their concerns about things like traffic congestions and overcrowding. Now, many people try and compare the proposed mixed-use development in Weddington with Waverly. I want to assure you, there is no comparison. I want to say 1,400 people voted. We're a town of 13,000. There's been no large outcry from the residents to approve Weddington Green. In fact, it's just the opposite. The reason we are fighting so hard against Weddington Green <laughs> is because if they allow for this rezoning, for this property here with Weddington Green, and they say, okay, we're gonna allow for this conditional rezoning, then all of a sudden, they vote yes for this conditional rezoning. Then you have this property over here that a developer can come in and say, well, wait a minute, you said this was okay for this developer, you have to do the same for me, and if not, I'm gonna take you and then you've got another community like the property that's on Ray Road in Providence. You have all of that land. Then that owner is going to come in and say, well, wait a minute. I want my land to be resolved. It was also clear when the current town council members ran for their campaigns. They knew that was the case because they ran a campaign on limiting commercial growth and not increasing density. Uh, I'm concerned as everyone else is about density, traffic, impact on our community, impact on our schools. So we'll see. I'm, I'm anxious for your input, for your advice. In serving on the town planning board, many projects came across our table for approval. The residential projects were typically approved. The commercial projects that came across were not. The commercial projects were denied because they did not fit the standard of living in which Weddington is set upon. It changed our zoning, it changed our quality of life, and as a board, we refused to approve it because our neighbors didn't approve of it. With Weddington Green, you have that creek that they always talk about, but what... Um, there's been no impact study. There's been no impact environmental study and then you have an email that the mayor sent that the overflow water is going to go to Arrow Plantation, which we know is protected environmentally. And then you have Mundy's Run, which the creek that the creek is feeds directly into Mundy's Run. Yeah, the there creek is technically an offshoot of Mundy's Run, which Mundy's Run runs into right, Arrow Plantation. Arrow. I want to have a complete and good understanding of how we will treat wastewater, stormwater runoff. We chose to move here to the Weddington area because it's absolutely gorgeous. We live in a wilderness preserve, it's right here particularly in Arrow Plantation. We've got nature, we've got birds, we've got foxes, we've got butterflies, animals, everything um, that you could possibly want. It's like heaven on earth. The rural lifestyle in Weddington was where I wanted to raise my children at. The schools were better, the spacing of the homes were apart, go outside and not feel like I'm on top of my neighbor. Traffic at 45 in Waverly is okay. I mean, just really depending on the time of the day. Um, I try to make sure I'm not going while people are going to work, while people are picking their children up for school, while people are actually coming home from work. And I can't even imagine what it's gonna be like um, with the road situation that we have right now, being able to add all of these different um, commercial properties and different venues, because um, I think it's going to turn our community into um, a nightmare. It's going to be really, really tight. Um, and hopefully, if they do decide to actually put something here um, that's going to bring in more and more people, there's going to be a huge expansion of the pathway to actually get here, because right now, it's like just one way in and one way out. That's, that's when the Ray Road extension, right. that's when it curves over and connects into 84. There, past Arrow into Wesley Chapel, it'll, it'll be four lanes. 
that I really like about this community is even though we're in our own wilderness preserve, we are so close to the interstates and so close to everything that we actually need. So we're here in paradise, you see. You hear the birds. <laughs> now, the people you voted for said they were gonna look out for our town mm -hmm. and the vision that exists in the plan, mm -hmm. and they haven't. Before he's even elected, when he's running on a ticket and he is saying that I am going to do this, and then he's emailing the developer on how to do his application and what to say. I've always believed a big reason why the town of Wedding is such high demand is that it is not like the other areas. While some areas are searched for businesses to relocate there, Weddington has worked hard to limit commercial growth. The commercial area was always limited to 27 acres of commercial land. You must get engaged. Yes. Come to the special meeting at 4 o'clock on May 9th. Come to the council meeting at 7 o'clock on May 9th. Yes. Let them know you are engaged. Yes. How many people spoke out against this project? The numbers against well exceed the numbers that actually voted in the last election. My request is the mayor and the town council honor what they committed to do before they got our votes. Vote no on trashing R40 zoning for townhomes, apartments, micro lots on large houses. Vote no on expanding commercial zoning. A vote no for this project is a vote yes to maintain the status quo in Weddington.